guys, this is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today to show you what's inside my pantry and freezer. Today is January 31st, and it is officially the last day of the pantry and freezer challenge, so I thought I'd give you guys an update and show you how things look now. Um, I will link the original pantry and freezer tour in the description box so you guys can see where we started out, but I'll start up here at the very top. Didn't really use a lot of stuff up there. I think Howard may have finished off a couple of boxes of cereal, but other than that, that's the only thing I think that got touched up there. Um, second shelf, I used a couple of things from the second shelf. We still have a lot of condiments and we still have a basket full of those um, like different little seasoning packages. So we've got a ton of those. Did I did make a dent in the canned goods. Um, I don't think I really touched any of the beans, but I did use quite a bit of the tomato products and also a lot of the cream of soups. Didn't make a lot of headway on this shelf. This is where we keep the, um, the canned fruit. So I didn't use a lot of that. And I also didn't use a lot of the um, like barbecue sauces, things like that. A lot of that stuff did not get used. On this bottom shelf, I did use some of the pasta and in that basket, there's soups and things like that. There's also some skillet things like Velveeta. Um, and I did use a couple of boxes of the skillet mills. So here's the door. Didn't really make much headway on the door at all. Um, I may have used a couple of uh, seasoning packages um, from the door and really that's about it. So as you can see, still kind of got a ways to go. Okay, so let me show you the cabinet. Okay, so here's the cabinet. And as you can see, I did make some headway on the cabinet. Um, there's a lot of empty spaces. There's nothing new in the cabinet, nothing that I added in there at all. So I did make a dent, but as you can see, we still have a lot of food, have a long ways to go on that. So let me show you the kitchen freezer. Okay, so here is the kitchen freezer. And as you can see, um, I made some pretty good progress on the kitchen freezer. Um, I've emptied out quite a bit of it. And I will say that these egg rolls actually came from my outside freezer, which we'll go to in just a second. So um, I'm pulling stuff from my outside freezer and bringing it in here. But this stuff is pretty empty. Um, this bag of chicken and this bag of chicken and this bag of mandu. Sorry, it's from the outside freezer, but if, it, if I didn't have this in here, this is what the inside freezer would look like. Um, here's the door. The door pretty much looks the same. I don't think I touched too much stuff in there. And let me put this down and show you the drawers. The drawers kind of look the same. So here's one drawer. So still got a lot of vegetables and things like that. And here's the other drawer, more vegetables, but you know, the shelves, pretty empty. So I'm proud of that. So let me take you outside to see that freezer. Okay, so I'm outside in the garage and this freezer will start beeping because I have the door open. Um, but starting right up here, this top shelf made quite a bit of progress. Um, used a lot of chicken, I feel. The only thing that was added to this shelf were these two packages of bacon. One is here and one is up there that I had in my indoor freezer. So that's up there, but nothing else of course is new. I haven't bought anything. Um, the second shelf, we made quite a bit of progress. We used a lot of um, Asian skillet meals and we had some mandu. And that's one of, the, one of the bags that you saw in the indoor freezer came from this shelf. I didn't touch any of the pie crust and that roast, as you can see, is still there. This shelf looks really good too. I don't think I've seen it this empty since we bought this freezer, but we still have a lot of meat down there. We still have um, a ham bone in there. We have more chicken in there. This bottom shelf, we made some progress. We ate a lot of frozen pizza. 
Um, the pecan pie is still down there. We still have a package of taco shells. Let me show you the door. I don't think I made any cookies, so that shelf looks the same. I think I may have used a package or two of um, butter. And then we used quite a bit of uh, ground beef. I have three pounds left, so I'll need to go get some more. Still got my chicken and sausage. And then um, right here, I think I may have used a little bit, maybe a pound of breakfast sausage, that's it. So in this drawer, I used some smoked sausage, not a lot, but as you can see, we have a lot in there. Still got hot dogs, little smokies, a lot of uh, smoked sausage. And let me show you this final bottom drawer. It's a lot in here, but we still have a lot, a um, lot of chicken. I honestly did not realize how much chicken we had. I mean, I tend to buy it when it's on sale and then freeze it. So we've still got a lot of chicken in there to use. But anyway, this is the freezer tour. As you can see, we still have a lot of food. So I'm going to continue working on my freezer and pantry. I hope for those of you that participated in the freezer and pantry challenge, I hope it was helpful for you and that you were able to go through some of your stockpile. I really appreciated all the support of those of you doing it right along with me um, during this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.